I'm going to share a cool software with you that allows you to edit videos in real time as you record them. So stay tuned. So that was my intro. Uh, normally in the past, what I would do to put that in there is I'd record this video you're seeing now, and then I would go and put in the intro afterwards using an editing software. And the problem with that, I mean, it works fine, but it's very time consuming. And, you know, ev everything you have to do after you stop recording is, you know, something that's going to add to the time and the, the difficulty of of making a video and you know you can run into errors and all these things uh, that just make it more difficult um, and and so I've discovered a software that allows me to do this in real time oh hey look I've changed camera angles uh, I didn't have to go in after the fact and find the place where I turn my head and then and put a cut there I'm just doing it live by hitting the hotkeys on my keyboard. So that's pretty great. Um, and it really makes it uh, easier to make a, a video that's engaging and has a lot going on, maybe maybe pictures, uh, music, or, or different uh, video clips, images. I can do all that stuff. And the software I'm using for it, I'll share my screen with you now, is called Open Broadcast software, uh, open broadcaster software. You can get it from obsproject.com. It's free, it's open source, and it's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, so, and what it does is it lets you uh, put in a bunch of scenes here. You know, I can, you know, I add a scene and give it a name. Uh, and I, so the scenes I have are intro for my intro intro credits, cam one from one webcam. I have two webcams plugged into this computer, cam two for my second webcam and screen for my, uh, screen sharing. I have two, uh, or I have you put in sources for your, uh, video. So I, I have a scene keyed to a hotkey and then that, that scene has sources. So this one has two sources. Uh, it's, it's putting webcam two down in the corner, as you can see. Hi. Um, and it's displaying what's on my screen so I can show it to you. Um, and then I have that keyed to a hotkey. So you can do that. You go to settings, hotkeys. See, I started recording with Q and I'll stop with W because those are just the first keys on the keyboard. And then camera one is one, camera two is two, uh, the intro is three, and the screen sharing scene is four. Um, so I got those hotkeys, so let's switch between them, camera one, camera two, I'll skip the intro because it you know, plays music, but you know, here's four, the screen sharing one. Um, and the fact that I can do this live is really great, I can see many uses for it, uh, so you know, I have two cameras pointing at myself, which is great to give a little motion. I mean, it'd be very boring to watch me say this all from one camera angle straight on the whole time, like a newscaster, I guess. I mean, even newscasters have images up in the corner, right, to, to you know, go with the story, and they have a text ticking along the bottom. I suppose you could you could really do that, right? You could have You could have your top image... Uh, keyed to a hotkey and just sit there and you're saying the news, a new story happens, you hit a key and, and bam, a new new image uh, from your computer uh, comes up. That would be a good use of this, this software. Um, but, you know, I'm just, uh, just the switching of camera angles makes it more dynamic, makes it more interesting to watch. And the fact that I don't have to go in and do it after the fact is really great. So the one thing... I, I don't like editing. I don't like editing because it takes a long time and I'd rather not do it. But the one thing that I'd like to do with um, this video, I'm I'm using my uh, ATR2100 microphone and it's a great dynamic microphone, gets my voice very clear, but it's a little quiet. It's on the quiet side. So uh, what I'd, whoops, <laughs> that, there was my intro again. What I'd like to do is um is just 
give it a little boost and a little audio post-processing. So I use this uh, service called Auphonic, A-U-P-H-O-N-I-C.com. Um, and what it does is it does audio post-processing for, uh, you know, generally I, I use it for my audio podcast, or I did before I uh, was successful enough to hire a human to edit. Um, and, you know, you make an account, go new production, you can upload your video, and then you can go and, uh, you know, the output will give an option to output in the same format as the video. Uh, set your loudness target, um, and that allows you to have, uh, you know, get everything to the right volume, the loudness standard uh, set for uh, podcasts and YouTube so that people aren't watching your video and having to crank up or down their volume. Um, and, you know, if you're, and it has like all sorts of things in the algorithm, but especially a, a, a leveler and a compressor to, to get um, your volume. So if you're very quiet in one part and then very loud in another part, um, it can get those all into a, a more comfortable range to listen to. And then you can produce it. Um, so, the nice thing about Auphonic is it is free uh, up for the first two hours every month of audio post-production. So if you do less than two hours of video, it's free. It's cheap beyond that. You can buy a little time and, uh, you know, so, I mean, if you're doing hour, an hour episode every day, then, you know, you m might run a little bit into, um, into cost issues, but, uh, but it's a really great service and it uh, allows you, again, with just the click of a button, very little time commitment to do uh, a whole lot and make your audio sound really great. So uh, again, uh, you, I'm using open broadcaster software from obsproject.com um, and Auphonic for post-production. And, and with that, I'm able to make a video. I can imagine many uses to such a technology where, uh, for instance, I could have these cameras pointed at two different people and do an interview live on the fly. Um, so highly recommend this as, as a way to, to do a live stream or uh, maybe a daily podcast, video podcast, if you wanted to do something with very little uh, editing after the fact, which of course, if you want to produce content very regularly, which is key to success in online publishing and broadcasting, and uh, especially podcasting, um, then this is a great option for you. So thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Economics Detective.